Number 33, at what angle does a diffraction grating produce a second order maximum for light having a first order maximum at 20 degrees? So basically what you can do with this problem is I would kind of create two equations for with this constructive formula. They're talking about a maximum, so that's why we're using that formula and we used it on the past 31 problems. So basically d sine theta is going to be equal to m lambda. Um, and just right here, like d We'll do this for the first order, okay? So this is like D1, sine theta 1, M1, wavelength 1. And then create a second equation with 2s in it. And this will represent now all the information uh, for the second order. Now, what do you know about the, what do you think about the spacing between the, you know, diffraction grading? Is that changing in the problem? No. No, that is not changing. What do you think about the wavelength of the light? Does the wavelength of the light sound like it's going to change? Is the light changing any in any way, shape, or form? No. So they're both constant. All right. So what that means is I'm going to solve this equation. It doesn't matter how you do it from here. There's many ways. But what that means is I'm going to solve this equation Okay, for d1. Just divide out the sine theta 1. What I'm also going to do here is I'm going to get rid of the 1 and the 2 subscript for the wavelength because they are the same. So when I put these now equations together, I'm going to cancel anything that has stayed the same. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this value. Also what I'm going to do is uh, get rid of this uh, d2 and the 1 because they are both the same d as well. So then what I'm going to do is basically take this highlighted value now and plug it in for d here. Okay. So what that now becomes is m1 lambda over sine theta 1 times sine theta 2 is equal to m2 times lambda. Now, these will cancel, okay? You can clean this on up now if you wanted, but what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna also solve for the question I want. It says, what angle does a diffraction grating produce a second order? So I'm asking to solve, or they're asking me to solve for theta 2 for the second order, all right? So now all I'm gonna do is bring this value on up into the numerator on the right, bring this on down into the denominator on the right, and then it will have it solved for sine theta two. All right, and that's then going to equal m two sine theta one, all divided by then m one. Now, since I need to find the theta and not sine of theta, I'm going to then take the inverse sine now of both sides. What that will then do is cancel the sine on the left, right, we've seen this now about 31 times. And here we go. So, well, we got to plug in the numbers now, right? Yeah, just plug the variables in the calculator. Tell me what you get. So this is going to be m2, right? That's the second order max. And then sine of the first angle, right? They told us the first order maximum occurs at 20 degrees. So that's why it's sine of 20. Divided by then m1, which is just the order for the first, which is just 1. And do it now. So inverse sine of 2 multiplied by sine of 20. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode, ladies and gentlemen. Do not forget that fact, especially if you're taking like calculus or any type of mathematics simultaneously with this class. You will kick yourself after you complete the test in radians instead of degrees, <laughs> like I did. Thank you very much for tuning in. We will see you in the next problem. All right, check out some more of our stuff. We've got a whole bunch of problems out there. Uh, we love to help you in more subjects. All right, we solve specific problems so you can get specific help. Right, I think the one of the best ways to learn something is to do a ton, a ton of practice problems. See how things are worded differently. Even if you're not using the OpenStax books, download them. They're free. They're great textbooks. And then use the problems in there for more practice. All right, more practice cannot hurt. You'll do better on the test. I guarantee it. We'll see you soon. Take care.